Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here on Friday the 17th of January. Thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Just a reminder that we're kept free of charge by you coming back and using the site. And when you use the site, it means we can put more adverts in front of you. It's that that keeps uh, the site all completely free of charge. So thanks for doing that. Um, we are a commercial site, professional organisation, and uh, we exist to operate in profit. So hence the reason we put this message on. Anyway, um, it's Friday and that means it's time for a look ahead, a longer range look ahead. We've got the latest charts from the JMA now going through to April. I just wanted to review that because it's just become available during the last couple of days. So we'll take a look at what the prospects are just a mo. Uh, quick look at the next few days. Uh, ensemble showing this downward shift in temperature still as we head into the last part of January. That looks to be accepted now. Remains fairly unsettled. You see the green colours there across the bottom. That's rainfall. And uh, you notice how that also continues through the rest of the month. So actually um, the GFS seeing very little change in overall weather pattern apart from it becoming cooler. Cool, damp, dark January conditions. How nice. Uh, anyway, this is chart for today. Low pressures out towards the west. We've got fronts moving north and eastwards, taking showers with them, some of them heavy. This area rain here is going to track north overnight tonight and then head through England and Wales through tomorrow. Some pretty heavy bursts of rain tracking their way north through the country. Looks as if most of it's going to be southern Scotland, northwest England, down through Wales and southwest England. We could be looking at 40 millimetres plus across high ground out towards the west. Through Saturday, though, eastern areas tending to be dry, uh, southerly feed there, but uh, it's always the risk of catching one or two spots of rain, northern Scotland dry until the afternoon. Sunday looking like this, front is clearing its way eastwards, hangs over northeastern parts of Scotland though, but uh, for most of the rest of the country, looks as if it should be generally dry with um, some sunny spells around, but showers affecting western and also southern coasts heavy at times. Monday, uh, still in the shower situation, got troughs moving the way eastwards, bringing some showers from time to time. Some of those quite heavy, particularly in the north and the west, but more inland and eastern areas tend to see less in the way of showers. Tuesday then sees another frontal system coming from the west, more persistent rain moving in after a drier start. Some rather heavy bursts of rain for Scotland and southwest England, becoming quite breezy in the west as well. And then through Wednesday, looks to be a bit of a wet one. Low pressure, firmly in control area of rain affecting much of the country. You see it there, so I think we need to watch out for the risk of some localised flooding once more. Tending to turn cooler from Wednesday onwards too. So 7 to 10 day means of the 500 millibar flow looking like this. ECMWF on the right, GFS Ensemble on the... No. ECM on the left, GFS Ensemble on the right, and uh, both of them are actually very similar. You notice this increase in heights through the Atlantic look on both models, below the normal heights uh, to the north there, and a screaming jet stream coming in between the two, highlighting the um, more unsettled conditions that we're about to go into during next week and beyond, it appears, because this is day 7 to 10. So this is taking us forward from next Friday through to Monday the 27th. So um, we've got, um, you know, quite a quite an active jet stream there across the uh, Atlantic. And most of it, though, the... Um, Strongest portion of the jet looks to be uh, over or to the south of the UK, hence the reason for conditions becoming cooler as well. Now, notice I say cool, not cold. OK, what's going on in the longer term? Well, the Japanese Meteorological Agency charts just become available. This is day 228, so it's valid from Thursday running through to Friday. And uh, so this chart is valid from yesterday, so from the 16th through to the 24th. And... Um, what it's shown us here is ridge building in the Atlantic. There's the trough look through the British Isles. Still got the ridge out towards the east. So they agree with this idea. Trough is going to be in. It's a pretty active trough. It's fairly unsettled. Looks like it stays that way right through with this ridge building out in the Atlantic too. That tending to nudge the flow more into a west-northwesterly. Hence the reason for the cooler temperatures. Sees rainfall like this, uh, the blue colours there indicating above normal rainfall totals. So it sees normal to wetter totals generally through the course of this week. Week two, so taking us from the 24th um, through to the 31st. No, taking us forward to the 30th of January. Um, this one as well, look, keeps the trough in place. Here's the ridge in the Atlantic. Here's the trough across the UK. Look, another trough across the eastern states. Real deep cold going into parts of the eastern states. That then feeds its way back in across the Atlantic. And we, we've got this trough feature 
uh, three week two through the country. So we stay unsettled, but the JMA really is just saying, look, you're unsettled and you're cool. Uh, doesn't see particular signs of winter. I mean, <clears throat> it could be if that trough was a little bit, um, perhaps just a nudge a little bit further uh, east and perhaps if this ridge was stronger we'd go into colder conditions but at the moment that just looks to be cool so we'd be looking at daytime temperatures of fives and sixes in the south probably twos and threes in the north some snow over the hills um, nothing dramatic at low levels although if we did get an active system frontal system coming which nudged the winds into the northwest it could be very briefly we see um, a spell of snow and then on to weeks three and four so from the 31st of january through to uh, around the 13th of February. Um, this showing us uh, during this period, look, here's the ridge back on the Atlantic. There's the trough through the UK. Huge ridge here extending through higher than normal heights, I should say, from northern parts of Russia across the pole and into the uh, Pacific Ocean there. Um, conversely, look, the opposite trough across uh, northern parts or lower than normal heights northern parts of the states across Greenland and uh, into Europe that flow there well it, it it's a cooler flow but, but again it's cool rather than cold although there are some indications from that that actually we could go a little bit colder with some low pressure areas perhaps just zipping the way southeast through the UK and uh, tending to bring um, some cooler conditions with them so I think a colder outlook for the uh, early part of February is more than likely. And again, on this temperatures, fours and fives in the south, probably ones and twos across the north, but um, a few more colder days put in there. So there's this definite trend downwards in temperatures. And interesting just to compare that with where the CFS is. This is the latest CFS. And for the last few days, well, actually for a couple of weeks, it's been showing this downward trend in temperature as we go through the end of this month into the early part of February and then picking it up through February. You notice that, that trend is still there. It ties in with the JMA. And it looks pretty reasonable. And temperatures today actually look better than yesterday's. Yesterday's looked a little bit cold. Today it's kind of hanging around the 4 and 5 degree mark across southern parts of the country. So... You know, it's 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 looking like cooler is there, but it's not going to be a big freeze. So what about further ahead then? Well, this is the chart for the whole of February from the JMA, and we'll uh, we'll pick up first of all on sea level pressure. And um, you notice what they try to do here is to build the ridge out in the Atlantic. Look, suggests that there's a trough across the UK. And uh, what that tries to hint at is at a, a pretty cool February with those winds staying generally west to west northwesterlies. So it tries to keep them in that cool pattern. Now, um, in terms of uh, 850 temperatures, it's got those in blues here. So showing them below normal again, building on that cooler theme. March looking like this, uh, if we uh, look at the 500s actually, they're the most useful ones for March. Um, you notice here it's building this ridge in as a westerly look, uh, above normal heights across much of the country. And actually what the JMA is trying to hint at is March not being too bad. This is rainfall through March and uh, what it tries to do is to bring near normal to above normal rainfall totals across the north of the UK but um, below normal to the south and it actually makes March quite a, a, a mild month. Uh, across many areas. Now remember this is the mean of the month so it doesn't mean there won't be cold periods but generally it's looking towards a milder month. And then through April, well I'm afraid not quite so good. Um, this is sea level pressure anomalies. The blue colours here indicating below normal pressures through April so we're trying to take us back into a more unsettled month, perhaps quite a wet one and uh, at the moment we're thinking at 110 to 130 percent of normal rainfall across much of the country with a generally uh, westerly flow. But of course, we'll firm up on those ideas. So plenty to go on then. Cooler is certainly the watchword over the next week or two and um, cooler really for the beginning part of February. So it looks just at the moment. As you know, we'll keep you updated every single day here at weatherweb.net. And if you follow us at WXWeb on Twitter, uh, I give you all the very latest forecast information on there as well. And the forecasters post on there too, telling you what we're looking at, what to look out for in terms of weather over the next few hours out to days and weeks ahead. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.